over budget outrage. Hampton Roads Transit System goes over its allotted money and cities are on the hook for the charges. Now both sides of the money mess are throwing each other under the bus for how it all got out of control. Good evening to you. A big blame game going around town tonight about how HRT's budget was allowed to balloon. Cities which the agency serves will now have to pay millions to fix it. $5.3 million over. HRT says overtime from short staffing, breakdowns of old buses, and lower than expected ridership are all to blame. And they also say some of the warning signs have been ignored by the cities. Then your side's Matt Gregory has reaction on this botched budget battle. Matt? HRT calls it a true up, covering the gap between revenue and expenses. Nine out of 17 years, that true up meant giving back to the cities. But this year, it meant a multi million dollar bill, the largest to the city of Norfolk. The bill for buses in Norfolk shocked Councilwoman Angela Graves. I felt like it was just dropped in our lap with no warning. Two million dollars to pay the shortfall. That prompted choice words by Graves for Hampton Roads Transit's CEO. In corporate America, William Harrell may not have a job this morning. To explain the problem, HRT gave us the CFO, Brandon Singleton. I think council members are definitely entitled to their, their opinions, um, but I do not plan to resign. How did HRT end up with a $5.3 million deficit? Singleton explains the first problem. We did not see the level of ridership that we anticipated. The revenue from that fell more than $2 million lower than expected. Then comes the spending problem. Start with the aging bus fleet. Once they get to a certain age, they are hard to, uh, and, and, uh, expensive to maintain. Add overtime to it, and Singleton says the expenses went more than $2 million above projections. It all adds up to a true up of $5.3 million for all the cities. So Hampton Roads Transit does not build a cash reserve to handle ebbs and flows like this. Councilwoman Graves says HRT should have warned this deficit loomed. If we were getting to that number closer in the fiscal year, or sooner rather, in the fiscal year than we have been in the past, that they would have said something. CFO Singleton says they told all the city's representatives in advance. We provide uh, on a monthly basis our financial report. To, to the cities? To our commission. Either way, bus service from 2016 will now cost Norfolk $2 million in 2017. Norfolk's councilman on the HRT commission is Paul Riddick. I called him to ask what he knew about the deficit earlier in the year. He's not returned my call. In the newsroom, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.